12 pulling up to the line. Bolt for reset. Go, go, go. I mean, what's so stressful about Pikes Peak is the power. All that energy coming out of the battery pack, going through the electronics, getting delivered to the road through the motor, keeping everything cool. It's just really stressful. We think that that test represents really the most that any of our customers would ever do with our car in the real world. And it's a great development environment for our engineers. A huge problem of what things can we do to make sure that we can get to the top. You know, can we even do this? We're putting out more average power, I'm sure, than any of these purpose-built race cars because of the mass of the car. Now, we've got a lot of really clever and great IP in the battery pack, specifically the coolant loop. We tweaked all the, the models in the simulator to be representative of our car. We ran that through our really detailed powertrain simulations, and so that gave us like a very detailed map of what all the components would be doing throughout the whole race. Compared to the simulator, we're very, very close. We're within a matter of seconds. We thought we'd be running against right up to the thermal limits, but as it turns out, we've got a little bit of margin, and so we feel pretty good about that. Everybody involved in the project is working directly on all the production equipment. We ran a production intent powertrain, production intent software up the hill, and so everything we developed for the tests and validation goes straight into the production program. When we first started this project, we were thinking of a lot of different ways of modifying the system so it performed properly on different sections of the course, depending on my driving style and also the amount of elevation gain and things like that. Whereas in fact, all we've done is executed the stock system to the best of our abilities. The big turning point there was developing the improvements that we had planned for the gamma phase of development. We were able to accelerate that and use this as a test bed for a lot of those ideas. Three corners from the end of the race, Robin had to come to a stop and cycle power on the car to reset it. What happened was a software issue and a calibration that was too conservative for the accelerator pedal sensors, meant to detect an accelerator pedal that was stuck. It's a culture of our company that our engineers know it's okay to fail, but fail forward. Learn something from it. Now that we have the data from in the car, we can make changes to the calibration and the feature itself to be more robust. I think the most important thing we have done with this project is open up the battery limits. Working still in a, a smaller startup environment, everybody's engaged and involved in doing the best they can to help the car achieve that next milestone. We've learned a lot. We expect to learn more before we ultimately deliver a better production car to the customers. Definitely we can take the momentum from this and apply it to whatever the next big challenge is for this car.